Okay, um, it's dark. It's about uh, 5.30 ish. Um, I've closed the drapes and it's dark and I'm by myself. And uh, I just wanted to show you the candle. See, there's my little propane heater. It's been on the same kind of propane for a long time for, well, since the last time we used it. So there's a lot of propane in there and one can lasts a long time to heat the house. So there's my candles on the entertainment center and then I can't see my pape, but there he is. And then there's an oil lamp and another candle holder. And here's some more candles. Prettiness. Little. Most of these are tea lights. There's some big candles like that one. That one I just bought. That's my, my pomegranate cider um, candle from Yankee. Oh, man, does it smell good. And then, you know, the candles on either side of the door. Uh, and that's the blanket to the kitchen that keeps the heat in here. Because candles do add a modicum of heat. It's very nice in here, uh, relatively speaking. Uh, uh, I, I like milk glass. Um, I don't know if anybody knows that about me, really. It's a secret addiction. I do. I love milk glass. I absolutely love it. And this was a gift um, from a friend a few years ago, and um, I have a candle in it. So, And then, you know, my my Catholic candles. There's St. Um, there's Jude and a pretty cross. And there's Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Um, and then there's a, you know, stitch and more candles. <laughs> this is my, my Halloween, um, my Halloween candle holder that I was looking for the lampshade. I never could find it because, you know, inside there's this little bat thing because it's, it's just really cute and I, I love it. So, but I couldn't find it. I couldn't find the shade for Halloween, but now I found it. And then my little heart holder and, um, candle. There's my, my red Christmas tree that eventually sometime I'll plug in. And my little black tree is right beside it, but you can't see it because it's dark. And then um, my, this is what I really wanted to show you. This is my, my little coffee table with all my candles on it. And um, there's my, there's my beaded lamp and um, my beaded, uh, let's see, beaded candle holders. And then my three wick from Party Light that I absolutely love. This this candle is probably about five years old, and I just I burn it every now and then. It's it's got a lot of hours um, of burn time on it. And then you know little votives. I just I couldn't help but make it pretty. You know, and my little black gothic goblets there. I I couldn't help but make it pretty, um, just because you know you need happy pretty things in a in an emergency situation. And this is an emergency. I mean they did, they did declare a state of emergency and. And I love this candle lamp, this little Victorian candle lamp daily thing. I bought it at the tea house because I absolutely loved it. And I do have a light out on the porch, a, an LED emergency um, light that will light the porch for the people who are coming by later. Um, Slabby and GED are out, um, and they should be back soon, and we'll make some dinner. And uh, Sis is supposed to come over soon. Um, and uh, that's about it. Uh, in the bathroom, I have a little electric, um, battery-powered candle-like thing. Um, we, we can go see it. It's it's really um, it's not that great. Uh, but my messy bathroom because I'm using it for a kitchen too. And this is a this is it. There's a little candle lamp dealy thing. You probably saw that in the video earlier. And my camp stove is in here. Can't see that either because it's dark. But yeah, and so it's a uh, it's 5:30 and it's really dark. But but it's not that dark and it's really kind of pretty in here and. And I like it. You know, if you have to have a power outage, you might as well have a pretty one, right? It's my candles. It looks very, it looks very Catholic and very austere in here. It's just, it's pretty. I like pretty.